The troubled U.S. passenger rail service has suffered another fatal crash. An Amtrak train derailed when it struck a piece of machinery on the tracks near the city of Philadelphia. Authorities say two people operating the equipment were killed. CCTV's Jessica Stone is joining us from near the accident site live where investigators are on the scene. Jessica. And Susan Cruz have just brought in a set of floodlights to help light that part of the track that's just behind me where they are currently investigating. And investigators really have one main question. Why was a repair crew on the tracks at the same time trains were running? Authorities say a repair crew operating this piece of construction equipment was in the path of an Amtrak train Sunday morning just outside the city of Philadelphia. The impact caused the lead engine of the train to derail, killing the machine's operator and another crew member. 340 people and seven crew members were on board. Passengers say they felt a jolt, saw smoke and dust. It was an explosion. We got off track and then it was like a big explosion. Then it was a fire. Then a windows bursted out. And like some people were cut up, but no, it was like not, it was just minor injuries. Some people were cut up and then they were just running out. The train's engineer and more than two dozen passengers were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The rest of the passengers were taken to this church. They were medically checked out and found to be okay, then sent on buses and in rental cars back to their destination. Now this area has become the command post for the investigation. As of now, we have recovered the event data recorder the forward-facing video and the inward-facing video from the locomotive to send to our laboratory in Washington, D.C. Most of our team has arrived on scene, and we will be looking at mechanical operations, signal, track, human performance, and survival factors. Less than a year ago, another Amtrak train derailed on the same track about 30 kilometers away. That crash killed eight people, injuring hundreds. Authorities say speed was a factor. Investigators hope to uncover what led to this most recent crash, getting trains running smoothly once again on America's busiest travel corridor. And Susan, New York State Senator Chuck Schumer told reporters earlier that he spoke with Amtrak officials that it's normal for track repair to take place on Sunday mornings because there are fewer trains in operation, but that there is no reason that a train should ever be on the tracks at the same time equipment is also present. Susan.